Hello, my name is Joe Vitale and I'm applying to be a certified Google trainer. So, quick story, pioneer ants. You know that lone ant you see wandering around your kitchen? That's a pioneer ant. It's the job of a pioneer ant to go out and find resources and report back to the colony about where those resources are so they can go grab them and th thrive and survive in their environment. I consider myself in my school district to be a pioneer ant just like that one in your kitchen. I go out and find new resources to bring back to teachers and help them implement them in the classroom. My certification as a Google trainer will not only deepen my own skill set, but allow me to reach teachers on a much deeper level. The feature that I'm going to showcase is the audience question and answer feature in Google Slides. In order for me to enable it, I go down to the menu that pops up whenever I bring my cursor to the bottom of my screen and I click on the Q&A button, which will open up this presenter view window. More on that in just a moment. The banner that's at the top of my screen has an address that on any device, audience members can log in and post questions during my presentation. I give a short presentation about my dogs to model this particular skill and to showcase the audience question and answer feature. And this banner remains the same no matter which slide I go to. If I go to the presenter view, you'll see that the questions come up um, on my screen in the presenter view. I'm logged in with my personal device and I've also entered in two questions. One of them, why did I decide to train therapy dogs? I can tap the present button and then go back to the, um, the view that's presented to the audience, and that question will actually come up. I can also be that quiet student in the back of the room who maybe doesn't want to raise their hand and ask a question, and I can use this feature on an anonymous way, in an anonymous way, and ask a question during the presentation. That one can also be presented, and it can be discussed by the audience. By far, my favorite part about this feature are the thumbs up and thumbs downs that you see there. All of the audience is in this same room, so they get to like each other's questions. The questions that have the most thumbs up are the ones that I address first, because a lot of people want to know the answers to those questions. This is a bold feature. It's innovative. It makes your presentations much more interactive. It's one that I really love, and I know that you will too. Thanks a lot for watching.